So if you have ever been to a hibachi grill, a Japanese steakhouse, and you got hibachi, you normally had two sauces. One of them you like better, and this is the one we are about to make. So in this video, we are going to make the yum yum sauce. This is a highly requested video, and this is everything that you need. You need tomato paste, garlic powder, paprika, white sugar, mayonnaise, not mayo, water, and you also need melted butter. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to measure out one and one fourth cup of mayonnaise. You want to put that in the bowl first and you want a looser consistency. So that's why I said mayonnaise and not mayo because you don't want it to be thick. You actually want it to be just a little bit thin, but not really thin. If you are one of those people that just does not eat mayonnaise and you have to have mayo, just go ahead and use mayo pretty sure you're going to eat it anyways so the next thing that you are going to take is a half a teaspoon of garlic powder you're going to drop that into the mixture as well the next ingredient you're going to drop in here is going to be a fourth teaspoon of paprika the next ingredient everybody always question why is this even in here this is a secret ingredient you are going to add one teaspoon of tomato paste yes it has to be tomato paste not tomato sauce tomato paste another ingredient that is really questionable to a lot of people is the next ingredient the next thing you're going to add is going to be one teaspoon of white sugar if you have pure cane sugar that's even better but you do want to have white sugar next to bind everything together we are going to add one tablespoon of melted butter the butter has to be melted you can use salted you can use unsalted but i prefer you use unsalted Next, to thin the mixture out, you are going to add a fourth cup of water. I prefer you use room temperature water. Please do not use boiling water or extra cold water. Now you're going to take a spatula. You're going to start to mix it. Please do not be alarmed with this step right here. It is supposed to look like this. You are about to switch to a whisk and that is going to bring everything together. After you switch to your whisk, you can take some Cajun seasoning and you can add it to your liking. I wanted mine a little bit more spicy, so this is why I add is Cajun. You do not have to add that. It is completely optional, but you want to continue to whisk. And after a couple minutes, it should be very smooth and ready to eat. So after you get it all smooth and well incorporated, you do want to just take a spoon and stir it around and make sure that there's no clunks or anything. Just make sure it's as smooth as possible. You have just created yourself some yum yum sauce. And if you do try to do the hibachi at home, I definitely would do this recipe along with it. So it should look like this. Let me know how y'all like this recipe and I will see you in my next video.